What do you think of just the general min laners in the NALCS? Mm. Well, I wouldn't call them NALCS mid laners because they're mostly Korean. And they are competing in the North American LCS. I'm joined right now by Power of Evil at LCS. It's week six. The coverage is presented by Omni Slash. We're inside because it is so cold outside that Power of Evil would have froze if you were out there, right? Actually, did not. My teammates are crying. It's so cold. But in Germany, I think it's like minus two degrees right now. So it's summer for me. Yeah. But you don't have any warm clothing. That's true. That's true. All right, whatever. Anyway. Let's talk about a little bit about Optic. You are making moves towards the playoff positions after having a, a pretty slow start to the split. Did you think you guys could, could end up in this situation? I mean, how dark did it get on Optic before the light started shining? Well, so, yeah, man, it's really dark times. Yeah. But we are seeing that, like, shimmer of hope. Yeah. So it's going good. I think we are improving from week to week in our the wins we get are more and more clean, so I'm happy about that one. And we, I think we just play around Midland better and better every week as well. So we just have way more success than the previous weeks. Is that the success? It's just like play around mid lane? Is that you guys go after and it's just like, we need more mid lane, more mid lane. That's the only way we're going to succeed. You guys need to play around me. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. But like, I actually prefer to play around side lanes. Um, Especially Misfits, I was playing like at Worlds, just like Rome champions and support champions. Yeah. That's kind of my style of control mages. But right now, there's like all the control mages and the mid laner gets really fat and then he did so much damage. Same for AD carries. Yeah. So we kind of sack our top laner in some games. So he needs to accept his fate in our team that he doesn't get a lot of resources. But um, that's obviously a weakness we need to improve on. And that's why we have like a six-man roster right now of Dokla and Zig. Yeah. That they try to help each other out and try to improve as a six-man unit. And I think it's going good already. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about this. So this was Dokla's first, uh, his debut match. What has it been like working with him? What are his strengths and you know, differences compared to Zig? Like what, ultimately, what's that experience been like? Well, so first of all, he has 100% win rate in NA LCS. Yeah, he has true. never lost a game. That's true, yeah. So... Uh, um, no, but uh, jokes aside, he is really communicative, uh, has, in my opinion, a little bit better communication than Zig. And, but Zig has like this kind of stabilized lane. He just, he just knows when to accept to sack a wave or he just, he already played so many games that he's like, he has the experience, right? And Dr. is more like the rookie. Yeah. So I think they can learn each from each other, like they can learn both. Like I think Zig needs to learn communication and maybe Dokla more to be even more stable and just learning by playing and getting experience. So yeah, that's pretty much the biggest difference between these two. Remind me who you play tomorrow? Um, hey, that's a good question actually. Kelsey, yeah. TSM. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so you play, see I felt bad uh, for not remembering, but if you don't know, then it's fine. Wait, I don't know anyone of that on the that roster. Oh really, okay, yeah, that's interesting bringing that uh, double if quote back. No, uh, you will go up against them. There's a lot of Europeans on that team. Yeah, actually true. Yeah, yeah that's like a European team right now. Yeah. So is this like the return of, for you, is it gonna be like, you bring back channel that EU LCS? Well, I don't know, I just can't escape Miffy and Sven. Like, mm -hmm. after I joined them in Origin, just like facing them in every region, yeah. you know, they just chase me down. Oh, okay, it's their, it's just their revenge on you or something. Yeah, I feel like, I feel that. No, what do you, let's, Take a step back. What do you think of the mid laners in the NALCS? A lot of European mid laners. Uh, I know Kelsey was asking Fabivan about this early in her interview with him. Uh, what What do you think of just the general mid laners in the NALCS? Mm, well, I wouldn't call them NALCS mid laners because they're mostly Korean. And they are competing in the North American LCS. Power okay, evil. Okay, okay. So the competing in NALCS mid laners. They're pretty strong. I think it's like a really, really stacked competition because yeah, they're just like the best out of every region, you know. And I think there's not like a huge difference between these mid laners. In my opinion, it's more about which mid laner plays better with the team and has certain strengths. So we had like I think CG plays really like to play with Fabian on Azi and these like control mages as well. 
and they pull out a lot of wins through that, right? And I think TSM just played Galio today, and they like to play these team fight oriented uh, comps with like horns on zip push. Yeah. So it's like it just comes down to which team and which mid laner just plays better as a team. Because in my opinion, it's like every mid laner is really close, and every mid laner has certain strengths and certain weaknesses, and you just need to exploit them. Yeah. Is there one that you like playing against the most? For mm. any reason. I mean, I don't know if it's fun to go up against Fibiven because of EU LCS reasons, if it's fun to go up against Bjergsen because everybody always talks about Bjergsen. Well, no, I think it's just, for me, it's just fun in general to face these guys because the last three years I was only facing Fibiven, Perks, Caps, like always, all, always the same mid laners. Yeah. So I was kind of borrowing it at one point. So now seeing all these new faces, these new play styles, it's uh, pretty exciting and just a new adventure. It's like you just bought the expansion pack yeah. for LCS. Yeah, like, exactly. Expansion pack, North America, you know, face new, all... New content, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. new players. Yeah, new, new enemies, all sorts of new maps that you have yeah, to go yeah. through in Los Angeles. Is, <laughs> is there anything you want to say to any of the Optic fans? Well, if we can see the glimmer of hope, you can too. Okay. By the way, do you like having this flag? This is very, I think this is unique to you guys. Yeah, it's really cool. I actually like it. Because I have a lot of German fans, and yeah. stay with me, guys. Okay. You can check out the rest of our coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Have you noticed that I'm not the one doing the interviews anymore, and instead you're stuck with Travis? Sucks, right? So, you know, don't subscribe, don't follow, but do drop a mean and nasty comment. Omni -slash. By Omni Slash. <laughs>